Hi, my name is Mark Palmina, and this is my brand brief for Antonello Shanti Classical for brand development at Full Sail University. Now, the project company that I'm talking about today is Antonori Shanti Classical. Now, this company was originally founded in 1183, so the biggest thing that they stress is their tradition and the experience that they've gained through that. Now, as you can see, this is their logo here. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the commitment, value, and sustainability. Now, recently, they actually added a new cellar to their grounds to show a lot of the audience what's going on in, in, their, in their winery. And the biggest appeal that they have right now over the competition is that in their winery, they also feature a museum as well as a restaurant and a small gift shop as well. Now, the competition, the first one is Avignon Nessie. Now, Avignon Nessie was just recently rebranded, and as you can see in their logo, they really stress the earthiness and the terroir of where their wine actually comes from. And here's a little bit more of their branding on some of their barrels. Whenever the owner bought the company in 2012, she really wanted to stress healthier wine. Castello di Ama is another competitor to Shanti Classico, and this owner was actually the winemaker of the year in 2003, so he really brought the value to the company. Again, this is a family-owned winery, so a lot of the values have traditionally been passed down. They have also hired local artists to come in, and they have commissioned pieces all over the winery, to highlight and bring a cohesiveness to the company brand as well. Now, Marchesi Fresco de Baldi, this company was actually founded a thousand years ago. It's one of the lo most long-standing wineries in Tuscany, and they recently opened international exports. As you might notice, they're really stressing their tradition as well and one of their values. And they were recently named one of the top 10 most innovative wineries of the year. Now let's talk about a little bit of the competitive review. Now between all of these companies, the biggest similarity is their tradition. As a winery, tradition is something that just gets passed on from generation to generation and actually ends up being a family type of business. The biggest difference from Antinori Shanti Classico is that they have that museum on site as well as that restaurant and that gift shop. So the strength, that would be my number one. Num and for my weaknesses, the biggest thing is going to be the staff. Being that it is a family-run company, there's not much room for advancement, um, and their museum only houses local art. There, as for opportunities, including anything from international art to also including other things in their gift shops other than just wine might be a huge area of opportunity. As for threats, climate would always impact anything in production as well. Now, the biggest action plan that I would propose is a new rebrand, a fresh start. As we saw before, their logo is a little plain, so I would start by recreating that, but also expressing their tradition in a simple slogan, something that brings everything together, like tradition, intelligently crafted. That would bring the sense of everything that they brought into their company, as well as keeping it short, but also expressing to the general public how everything just ties together to produce a fine glass of wine. And in conclusion, Chanti Classico is one of the one of the top wineries in Tuscany, so there is a lot of attention being drawn to this company, but they are limited because of the strong and stiff competition that they have. So I would propose a lot of different things from creating the slogan, the new logo, as well as looking into incorporating a lot of international artists as well as just being more receptive to new ideas.
and here are a few of my references and thank you for watching.